How to tame flyaway hairs that stick up in your center part. Well, that's what we're talking about today. So you've got really two options. And the best time to do this is when their hair is dry. Usually right after you style your hair, after you're done blow drying it, is when you will start to see hairs that stick up or throughout the day. But if you do this pretty much right after you blow dry your hair, you're gonna see the best results. Now there's a few things to keep in mind, which is very, very, very important. If you are one of those individuals who constantly wants to run your fingers through your hair, you've got like a center part haircut and it comes down to here and you just want that beautiful flow, the more you keep running your fingers through your hair, the more chance that you could be you know, creating some static and some flyaways just from that alone. So maybe just be careful with the amount of times you run your fingers through your hair, especially if you have no product. I know there's a lot of you who are anti-product, which is whatever, but products are designed for a specific reason. I have loads of great products you can choose from, but you need product to really help with this issue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two different sides of the head. I wanna get fairly close right into here. Now you can see all in through here, there's a bunch of flyaways that are just there, okay? Now the, the best thing you wanna do is you wanna have an approach to where you're just literally patting down the hair. You can even try it with no product and sometimes it works, but you can literally pat down the outer layer of the hair because all of these flyaways are on the outer top layer and that's what you need to do. If you start really going crazy on it and you're gonna just flatten your hair, it's gonna be very, very you know, flat to your head. So just keep that in mind too. If you're somebody who wants tons of volume, it all comes down to your styling routine. It comes down to the products you're using and all that stuff. So just be very, very careful. The first one, okay, on this side right into here, I'm gonna use my Crafted Matte Pomade. Now this is an incredible product. However, what you need to, be, need to do is just be very, very careful. So I would suggest just taking a scoop like that, a very, 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 not even a scoop, just like a little sweeping of it and always put the lid back on and close it fully for the, for the longevity of the product. So you've got this little scoop right here, this little piece. So work it into your, the palm of your hand and also into the fingers. A lot of people just apply the product here, but you're not really styling your hair so much like this. You also have to go in through the fingers as well. So get it all throughout here and really work this through, okay? You wanna really work this product through so that it's not too, too, like the product is pretty much almost broken down. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna take this and you're gonna literally just start to lay the hand on top like so. And I'm literally almost like I'm petting the hair right on the outer layer in through here. I'm not even trying to press down, I'm just coating the top layer, all right? And if you start to feel like you need a little more product and it's not as effective, then you can simply just take a little bit more product and then this time try work, not working it through as much so that you can still see the product in your hands so it's a little more, uh, it's not as broken down and usually that is a bit stronger, right? You've got a little more of the product that it's not broken down so much so it's more, a little more um, present in your palm. Then you can try it again like this and you can see it's actually working a little bit better. Right, and then you can just go, so the key is, is the outer layer like this, and you go right down just above the scalp area. If you go right on the scalp, there's a chance where, you know, if you're somebody who gets an oily scalp or sweats a lot, you don't have to, but you can just go right on that close as possible to the scalp. And you can see what we've done is we've eliminated those flyaways and then set it and forget it. Now, if you want to throughout the day, you want to start running your fingers through it, just keep in mind, that, that should be fine, just do, again, be careful with this. Always want to use the outer layer of your hand, or of the hair, and just do a lot of a padding motion. If you want to get more volume, you can push from underneath, and you're good to go. Now, the next one, on the other side, you've got super, super thick hair. I'm gonna use my Crafted Matte Paste, which, again, it's a great product. It's a bit of a stronger hold. So what you want to do is take a, same thing, fingers, Finger sweeping, doesn't necessarily have to be scooped so much, but a finger sweeping, right? And then what you're going to do, same thing. Now this time, let's start with the product a little more 
present in the palm. So, and because the matte paste is a bit stronger, you're gonna feel a lot of stickiness right up front. So what you wanna do, and this is for somebody who's got super maybe thick hair or um, the hair really has a hard time uh, getting flyaways, so you need that extra strength. So you can see just literally, just like that, within seconds, all right, the outer layer, that's it, the outer layer of the hair, and I'm just working the product down like this. Ever so slightly, and within seconds, you can see we fixed the problem. Now again, because we are matting the hair down, um, it's gonna lay a little bit flatter to the head. However, if you're, this works great on male, female, doesn't really matter, all hair types. You're really just trying to get rid of, rid of flyaways. Flyaways can happen on any person, any hair type, right? And there you go, problem solved. So you can see within seconds, the uh, issue is resolved. So these products are available at shop.thesalon.com. If you use code YouTube20, you get 20% off uh, my products. But you know, let me know if you tried this. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you like videos like these of these hair tips, because I like doing hair tips and stuff like that. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.